Hello everyone! We're going to use this scene to explain how the new denoiser works in Maxwell. You will be able to find the same denoiser parameters inside Studio, Maxwell Render and all the plugins. Here in Studio they are under Render Options Scene tab, right below Main Scene Options. In Maxwell you can find the same denoiser section in Render Options tab, right below Main Scene section, just like in Studio. In the plugins you will find it in a similar location, close to Main Scene parameters. We have tried to simplify the use of the denoiser, so basically to use it you will only have to activate this checkbox. And choose where you want to save the output of the denoised image. The same way you set the output path for main image, MXI or MXS files. The next option we find specifies at which point of the render you want to apply the denoiser to the rendered image. Each sampling level launches denoiser at each sampling level update, starting with the sampling level you set in the spin box on the right. This is the most interactive mode, as you see the result of the denoised image as the render goes on. The other option only computes the denoiser at the end of the render. Let's see it in action. Let's choose each sampling level mode, starting with sampling level 3, to see it sooner. Let's also activate multi light to see how it works with denoiser. Then just launch the render. It is important to understand that a denoiser needs two renders to be able to compute the denoised image, while preserving image features and details. But don't worry, everything is done under the hood automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. As you can see, Maxo is rendering now the first pass, and we will go on with it until it reaches something level 3 as we set in the denoiser options. In progress bar it will show in which pass it's working. As now it has reached something level 3, it will start with second pass. Also in the console you'll find the information about the noiser routine. In render info bar you can see the progress of both passes. As we choose to apply the noiser at each something level starting with 3, when both passes reach something level 3, we will get a denoised image, not final one. And then it will continue with first pass, again until something level 4, then second pass and then another denoised image, etc. As you can see in the console, it has now finished with second pass and the noise process has started. The noise sampling level shows sampling level 3 and now we have a new square icon on the bottom left part of the image where you can check the denoised image. As the render is only sampling level 3, the denoised image is still quite blurry and dark. Now the render process goes on with first pass again. Now second pass kicks in. This process goes on until the render reaches the sampling level or time limit. This is the most interactive method as you can see the denoise result most of the time. On the other hand, if you choose to apply the noise only at the end, you won't get any preview at any step of the render process. And if you stop the render before Maxwell has started second pass, you won't get any denoised image as the denoiser will only have one pass to work with. In order to preserve as many details and features of the image as possible, the denoiser can make good use of additional channels. In this case, thanks to reflectance channel details, the denoiser will try to preserve the text and details of the levels and menu when computing the denoised image. This is related to auto configure option. If it is set to fast, it will launch the render and will add normals, position and reflectance channels. If it's set to accurate, it will activate shadow option and all materials except for emitters and will additionally generate a shadow channel. This channel can help the denoiser, but while the other channels are almost free, this one increases render time to almost double. So we prefer to set fast method as default. You also can deactivate auto configure option and set channels manually. But you have to take into account that the denoiser needs the channels in EXR32 format. Normals channel should be in camera mode and position channel in world mode. Another option available is UGPU. Denoiser can calculate denoised image using GPU, NVIDIA and AMD or CPU. GPU is usually much faster and it's the default option. If you deactivate this, it will use the CPU. As you can imagine, as the render goes on, the denoiser has more true data to work with and has less amount of data to estimate, so the denoiser will keep improving its result with time. 
This is the result at something level 8. At something level 9, details of the text are pretty much there already, but the shadows on the floor need some more time. Something level 10, something level 11, almost there. At something level 12, details are there already. Now we are reaching the something level limit we said before. Please notice that at the end, both no denoised passes will be merged. You will see combined something level in the first field. Merge something level is 14.70, but the noise image is based on two something level 13 images. At the end, you'll get one file for one denoised result and another one for the noised image. In case you want to change motor light sliders after Maxwell has finished the render and the noiser has been applied, you'll have to run the denoiser again so the changes in motor light apply to the noised image. We added this button in the denoiser section for this purpose. Notice how after clicking the denoise button, the denoiser starts again and the noise result matches motel light changes. We hope you enjoy the new denoiser. Have fun!